Kayo ah, kumakain na kayo ah. Kasama po natin si Attorney Ted Pasco ng Tesla. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Deputy, morning. Deputy Director General. At ang pag-uusapan kasi yeah. namin eh, online courses para sa mga OFW. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, tignan muna natin ang ating uh, VTR. Sa panahon ngayon, mas maigi ang maging praktikal. Kaya naman nagsilabasan na ang mga short courses o mga kursong hindi na nangangailangan pa ng ilang taon upang makagraduate. At yan ang proyekto ng TESDA, kung saan marami na sa ating mga kababayan ang natulungan nito. Mga taong hindi na kayang matustusan ang ilang taong pag-aaral sa kolehiyo. At ang isa sa pinakabago at moderno proyekto ng TESDA ay ang TESDA Online Courses for OFWs. Kaya naman makakasama natin ngayong umaga ang Undersecretary ng TESDA na si Attorney Teodoro Pasqua upang ipaliwanag sa atin ang nakapaloob sa proyektong ito. Okay, good morning Attorney Ted. Magandang umaga, Congressman. Yes, uh, gaano katagal nang uh, tumatakbo itong online courses para sa ating mga OFW? Uh, actually, this was tried before, ano? Mm -hmm. kaya lang... Under the leadership of former Secretary Joel, yes. this was intensified for about uh, three years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have grown. Dati-dati, uh, less than 10 lang yan. Ngayon, we have about 30 plus courses and we hope we could reach 40, hopefully before the end of the year. At, at uh, sa mga kursong ito, na monitor rin ba ninyo kung ilan mga OFW ang uh, naka, nakikipag-re- o na, nagre-register para sa mga online courses? Actually, yung pag-monitor namin also depends on the volunteerism of the uh, person who goes online. Mm -hmm. So, yung aming, uh, as I said, hindi kasi mandatory. Yes, of You course. can get into it, you can learn the course without registering, mm -hmm. but we definitely encourage registration. Okay. And from the registration, we found out that majority of those who get it are more of the OFW uh, uh, kababayan Kababayans. rather than the locals. Na. Local. At uh, para sa ating mga nanonood ngayon, ano yung mga courses na, na ino-offer po ninyo online no, para sa ating mga kababayan? Uh, there are, we divide that into two. One that has certification mm -hmm. and then the other one, they don't have certification like yung mga ordinary cell phone repair okay. or yung making... Uh, a solar lamp, wala pa kaming certification doon. But for majority of our courses, about two-thirds of it, yan ay may certification lahat yan. Uh -huh. So, yan ang pinupuntahan ng ating mga kababayan, especially our uh, OFWs. Many of which are into HRS, yung hotel restaurant servicing. So, preparation of cooking, okay. uh, front desk, uh, busboy, yung mga ganyan. Most of these are being taken in fact, in a way, our target is some of our kababayan who is into domestic working. No? Mm -hmm. uh, pag tumaas ng antas niya, marami yes. pa siyang malaman within the setup of a hotel. Mm -hmm. Then he can get the skills and then go for certification mm -hmm. and leave the dom work level mm -hmm. to go to a higher level. Oh, kasi uh, bin, uh, binanggit nga ho ninyo kanina, you encourage registration dahil uh, importante dito na tatrack natin. Natatrack namin. Yes. No? At, uh, pero still, uh, just the same, ang uh, isa sa mga katanungan nga natin, if they do register, no, meron ba kayong tracking system kapag uh, matapos yung kurso na nakuha online, eh, malalaman natin kung nagagamit ng uh, OFW yung mga natutunan nila o na nakapaglipat sila ng ibang trabaho kung saan minamaximize nila yung training o na na uh, oh. na na kuha nilang uh, lesson mula sa TESDA. As of now, we want to go to that stage but as of now, we're into that level that pag nakita namin yung pangalan nila doon sa uh, enrollees, and then, na the juxtapose namin yan doon sa tawag namin eh, ARWAC or Registered Workers Assessed and Certified. Doon pa lang namin nakikita. So, mm -hmm. i, ang, ang indication noon, if uh, everybody hopefully would register, but if not, yes. ang indication lang noon, nakikita namin kung uh, after they take this uh, online training, do they get their certification? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, that's one way. The other one, which is actually encouraged by a new law that Congress just yes. passed, ito yung ODL law. Uh, RA 10650. Uh, we would like uh, 
to enhance yung learning capability ng mga tao. Mm -hmm. And we have already done some experiment or uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, trials uh, in our facility in uh, TESDA. We found out that really blended learning, yung actual learning uh, modalities namin, blended with uh, IT, mm -hmm. uh, supported uh, learning materials like it, itong nasa e-TESDA, o di kaya yung mga naka-CD, Uh, it facilitates the learning, shorter period of learning, and higher passing rate. Okay. Itong mga mga online courses, dahil siyempre ang alam natin eh, dahil sa K-12, no? Yes. Merong, merong ring uh, uh, test the uh, module pagdating sa senior year. Yes. No? Para sa ating mga nag-aaral sa, sa high school, kapag hindi sila makapagpasok sa kolehiyo, eh, at least eh, handa sila magtrabaho. Yes. Itong online courses ba ay pwedeng ma-access rin ng mga senior students, no? Para mak uh, sabi natin, makadagdag kung ano man ang natutunan nila sa senior uh, high school. Because registration is not a prerequisite uh, in the sense that uh, you must have certain requisites no, before you can use it. This is open to anybody. In fact, uh, we encourage those who may take uh, grades 11 and 12 eventually or any individual, yung mga kasambahay natin, mga kasama sa, sa bahay, sa mga, even at work, no? Uh, sometimes we go to relaxation, entertainment. Pero sa gabi, you know, instead of watching too much teleserye, uh, why don't you spend 15 minutes of your time? Because these modules are at your own time, at your, at your own, own pace. pace. Yes. So you can spend, you know, uh, 15 minutes in a day, repeat it several days in a week, eventually you master it, then you get a particular competency. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, sinasabi nga ninyo, uh, The purpose of registration is also in order to mahakwal ng certificate, no? Yung uh, yung mga mago online courses, no? Only to track them. To track Only them. To track them. Ngayon, uh, paano sila? Let's say they register. Do, how do they get the certificate after they finish the course? Is there a qualifying exam? Uh, is there a written exam that uh, they have to do uh, online also in order to get that certificate? As of now, the certificate that I mentioned is a certification for their national certificate, okay. yung NC. O di kaya yung COC, competency certificate. But they can only get that if they get themselves assessed in a uh, accredited assessment center. Okay. If they complete the course, we don't issue, as of now, we don't go through you that don't, yet. We uh, don't issue any certificate because it's free for all uh -huh. and there's no way to, to test them whether they really got the the skill, the way it should be uh, uh -huh. learned and taken. Oh, kasi ang, ta ang tanong nga, ng, uh, dahil ito ay target, well, it's targeted for everyone, yes. pero sa, sa pag-aaral ninyo, maraming OFW yes. ang, uh, ang uh, nag, uh, pumapasok online no, uh -huh. sa mga, sa mga services, services ng test. Ang tanong, eh, paano sila? No? Sila ay nasa ibang bansa, eh gusto nila magpa-accredit. How will now? How will they do that? No, they've they've completed the course, and uh, yet they are abroad. Uh -oh. yeah. What is the plans for test that with regard to this? Yeah, talagang that's a question that uh, uh, begs our our uh, doorstep. Yes. But as of now, in conjunction with the Department of Labor, merong kaming effort to go abroad. Like we have now uh, done uh, on an experiment stage assessment in Hong Kong, Singapore. In the Middle East, okay. we will be going very soon to Italy. Mm -hmm. no? And basta doon sa pinakamaraming concentration ng OFW yes. natin. And we are already establishing opportunities where baka meron mga private uh, accredited test the assessment centers who may want to venture into mm -hmm. those areas. Then perhaps in Joint the next venture. stage, yeah. we can allow them to do so. So people from outside yung ating kababayan can take their assessments there. Okay. Maraming salamat, Attorney Ted. Maraming at salamat. Ito ay uh, maganda para sa ating mga OFW at mga lokal Even na gusto yes. uh, pumunta sa iba't ibang mga larangan ng mga edukasyon ng testa. And for personal use. Yes. Yeah. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, la, 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 la.